Let's go on over to Accounts Receivable Aging Summary. All right, so again, I like to start with the summary reports. That is the area that is where I get to look at things and then make a decision if I want to drill down. Okay, so uh, report period, um, so you can do as of today or, you know, this month, this quarter, or you can just change the date. Uh, we can flip the aging method to be current, or we can do aging as of the report date. We can do the buckets, 30 days, 14 days, whatever, how many periods we want to see. And then we can also customize the report, right? We have to show non-zeros, the buckets, and then we have some filters in here. So we have filter by certain customers if you want to, which is strange. It's not by like customer type, it's just by, you know, select some customers. So not super effective use of filtering, but is what it is. Okay, um, so ARAG, what it's showing us is it's showing us here is are the customers that as of July 18th have an open balance. The current is they do not owe us yet, meaning they're, if we said net 30, they're within the 30 days. The 1 through 30 is they're outside of the 30 days. 3160 is they're 31 days outside of the 30 days, right? So that's how it works out. Pretty straightforward AR aging summary. AR aging summary is the report that you should be using when you tie out your balance sheet at the end of the month. You should be using your AR aging summary report to substantiate your balance on your balance sheet for accounts receivable.